Bill O'Reilly could be facing a career-threatening controversy, allegations that Fox News and at times the host himself paid $13 million over a dozen years to settle accusations that O'Reilly harassed five former employees. Now, with advertisers fleeing in droves, O'Reilly's finding support from the most powerful man in the world. President Trump providing backup for Bill O'Reilly. In an interview with the New York Times, the president addressed the growing scandal involving claims of sexual harassment against the embattled Fox News star, saying, he's a person I know well, he is a good person, adding, I think he shouldn't have settled. I don't think Bill did anything wrong. If we're throwing around all these terms. We, Former you know, Fox News the anchor Rebecca Gomez Diamond, who settled a harassment lawsuit with O'Reilly in 2011, slammed the president on Twitter, saying she's truly disappointed and vilified all over again. Such such comments tell women they won't be believed. The president himself, no stranger to the kinds of allegations now facing O'Reilly. Hello, how are you? Hi. Mr. Trump has denied multiple accusations of sexual misconduct following the release of that 2005 Access Hollywood tape, which threatened to derail his campaign last year. On the tape, Mr. Trump can be heard bragging about inappropriately touching women, comments he dismissed as locker room talk. So another big week for the Trump administration. Since diving into politics, the president has appeared on the O'Reilly factor multiple times and is the host's most high-profile defender. This is a real problem. Speaking with me on MSNBC, attorney Lisa Bloom, who represents one of O'Reilly's accusers, now criticizing the president and claiming even more female employees from Fox News could come forward. I've been flooded with calls, by the way, from Fox News women uh, all week. I'm happy to talk to them. So are there others you think out there who want to talk? There are many others. Fox didn't respond to NBC's request for comment about Bloom's claim. Congresswoman Maxine Waters was recently mocked by O'Reilly during an appearance on Fox and Friends. In comments, he later apologized for and called dumb. We I, I didn't hear a word she said. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the James Brown wig. Waters now speaking out about the alleged sexual harassment, oh, telling God, MSNBC's God, Chris Hayes God, that O'Reilly and President Trump should be locked up. They need to go to jail. Bill O'Reilly needs to go to jail. All of it as the number of advertisers fleeing O'Reilly's show tops 30. The factor begins right now. And as for the usually outspoken host, People he's staying really silent, not addressing the allegations on air. His only response posted online Saturday says in part, I'm vulnerable to lawsuits from individuals who want me to pay them to avoid negative publicity. Only settling the cases, O'Reilly says, to spare his children. So far, the uproar hasn't hurt his ratings. The 67-year-old is still crushing the competition, creating a dilemma for the network about how to deal with the growing fallout. In addition to his soaring ratings, O'Reilly's new book, Defending What He Calls Traditional Values, has debuted at number one on the New York Times bestseller list, showing that despite this controversy, guys, he still has a very loyal fan base. All right, Kate, thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.